Hi there, and welcome to the April 2024 I-84 Corridor Monthly Update. My name is Matt Kreisenbeck, and I am the Community Outreach Coordinator in District 3 for the Idaho Transportation Department. Here with me is Style Salek, ITD Resident Engineer and Specialist Law with the Idaho State Police. Thanks to everyone for joining us. We're going to do something a little different for this month's update. Today, Matt and I are joined by Specialist J.D. Law from the Idaho State Police. He is here to talk to us about safety on ID4, which is a very timely since we celebrated Work Zone Safety Awareness Week this month. Thanks for being here, Specialist Law. Sure thing, Styles. I'm happy to be here and talk about safety on ID4 in Canyon County. Since 2018, over 1,800 crashes have occurred in this area, and that's only including crashes on the interstate. That's a higher number than any of us at ITD would like. What can you tell us about the reasons behind these crashes? Vehicle collisions happen for a lot of different reasons. Some of the top reasons in this stretch of I-84 are following too closely, distracted driving, failure to maintain a lane or improper lane changes, and speeding too fast for conditions. Well, these sound like situations that drivers are able to prevent. Do you have any tips that you could share about how to prevent these types of crashes? It's crucial that motorists maintain a reasonable distance between them and other vehicles. They need to drive engaged, use their blinker when changing lanes, and follow the posted speed limit. Specialist Law, you mentioned that statistics show that one of the top reasons for crashes on the stretch of I-84 is following too closely. Is there anything drivers can do to stay safe when an aggressive driver is following them too closely on the interstate? The most important thing a driver can do is remember that it's more important to arrive at their destination safely than it is to challenge the aggressive driver. If a driver is falling too closely or shows other aggressive driving behaviors, the best thing a person can do is to slow down and allow them to pass as soon as possible. I think that's a great reminder for us all. Thank you again for taking the time to be with us here today and share some safety tips. Now we're going to give a brief update about two projects, Centennial Way to Franklin and the Karcher Interchange. Styles, what's the latest? At the Centennial Way to Franklin Road project, construction crews are working on temporary paving along I-84 and the ramps at both the Centennial Way and 10th Avenue interchanges. In addition, underground electrical work along 10th Avenue is taking place for a new traffic signal at the westbound ramps. You will see daily lane closures during the day on 10th Avenue over the next month. Sounds like there is a lot of work going on. Is there anything new with the Karcher Interchange project in Nampa? Yes. As some drivers may have noticed on the eastbound I-84, traffic has been shifted toward the middle of the interstate, so crews can begin to add the new lane on Karcher Road over I-84. The traffic shift helped create a work zone for the construction crews. You will see nightly lane closures and occasional overnight ramp detours this spring. Are there any other updates our viewers should know about the construction project? Yeah, there's some pretty big changes that will occur this summer on I-84. Crews are still finalizing plans, but we are going to share the details of what to expect in our next monthly update video for May. Make sure to check it out so you can be prepared to drive on I-84 in Canyon County this summer. Thanks again to everyone for watching this month's update video. Remember to use the contact information on your screen to sign up for the latest update about what's happening on I-84. Keep sending your questions and we will answer them in our next video. Thanks for joining us. Have a great month and drive safely. Thank you.